Intel has just released three new 12th gen CPUs that have beaten AMD's Ryzen 5000 series lineup in gaming and productivity. It is good to see the competition hitting up in the CPU niche, but I think that the best CPU will not be 12600, 700 or 900K. It will be i5-12400F, which has not been released yet. However, a French publication, Comptoir Hardware, managed to get access to a qualification sample of i5-12400, which is a pre-production model that should be very close to the retail product we will see on the shelves soon. In this video, we will have a look at the gaming and productivity benchmarks, specifications, prices and release date for the i5-12400 and 12400F CPUs. Before that, a quick message from a sponsor. An expensive Windows 10 license can break your budget when building a new PC, but not if you buy it from cdkoffers.com for as cheap as $13. They are running a limited time sale throughout November. Simply use code IV20 at the checkout for a 30% discount. The key will be delivered instantly, you can copy, save it and activate your Windows 10 license right away. Buy yours now at the link in the description below. Let's start with the specs. i5-12400 is a 6-core 12-thread processor with 18 MB of cache. Most likely it will have a 2.5 GHz base clock and 4.4 GHz boost. TDP is 65 watts, but it needs around 120 watts to perform at its full potential. This particular sample was drawing 117 watts from the motherboard by default. Judging by how Intel slightly increased the prices for higher tier 12th gen CPUs, I expect i5-12400 to cost $200 to $220 and 12400F between $180 and $200. Now about the release date. Intel has not officially confirmed it yet, but according to leaks and rumors, we can expect these and other non-K CPUs to launch in a few months in early 2022 along with B660, H670 and H610 motherboards. Next up, productivity benchmarks. In After Effects, i5-12400 is 12% faster than i5-11600K. But of course, it cannot compete with the current Gen i5-12600K because the latter has way more cores. In Blender, 11600K manages to claw back some ground. But it is just 4% better than 12400. In Lightroom, 12400 absolutely destroys all 11th Gen CPUs including i9-11900K and is very close to Ryzen 5 5600X. On average, i5-12400 is as good or better than i5-11600K and Ryzen 5 5600X in productivity workloads. Impressive. Now let's have a look at how well it does in games. In GPU demanding games such as Cyberpunk 2077, performance is the same on all modern CPUs because even RX 6900 XT graphics card is creating a bottleneck at 1080p. But in games that depend more on the CPU, i5-12400 looks like an amazing value. In Doom Eternal it manages to beat i9-11900K and is not far behind the 12600K and Ryzen 5 5600X. In recently released Far Cry 6, 12400 manages to beat Ryzen 5 5600X by 10%. Comparing the average FPS across 12 games, I am pleased to see that i5-12400 performs as good as i9-11900K and Ryzen 5000 series CPUs. Basically, we will get a flagship level gaming performance in a $200 i5 very soon. What do you think about it? If this video was helpful, then like, comment and subscribe for more. It was I, Vadim, until next time.